Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Talk Review on Let Only Speak. So today, the next movie I'll be reviewing, it's an English movie. It is titled Birthmark. It's a rock studio production and the movie is by uh, uh, Moses Inwang. It's a Moses Inwang film. Uh, the movie featured in the Edo, Bimbo Manuel, Femi Jacobs, um, Kate Adeshuba, and then introduced uh, two new faces, Joshua Richards and Elmar Godwin. And the movie is about a rich young boy who became obsessed with his nanny. I mean, his nanny that he can literally call his mother. And um, so I'm just going to go. So let's just talk about what I like about this movie. And you guys, you already know why I'm wearing glasses, but so there won't be any makeup problem. So, um, birthmark. Gosh, where do I start? I love this movie. I love the title. It took me. I mean, that that really, really took me. It, I just, it just got me like this. Bam! So like I watch this movie. I have to watch this movie. So, birthmark. That's that's one thing I like about the movie. The title. That title is really, really appealing. It's not sexually appealing, but it is really, really appealing. Entertainment-wise, it's really, really appealing to me. I don't think I should have said the sexual part, but hey, let's just continue. Nothing is off the table here. So, Birthmark, that was the first thing that got me into watching this movie, the title of the movie. And another thing, I love the fact that uh, the director and Moses Inwang introduced new faces to, to the table in person of uh, Richard uh joshua richard and um El elma godwin yeah and um i like that these are new new artists and they really did well but so talking about new artists this is go straight to the characters in this movie you know before you actually watch a movie you judge the poster and the faces you see on the poster and aside the fact that the title brought me to brought my attention to this movie another person that brought me into this movie is bob manuel bimbo manuel i'm sorry bimbo manuel and iniedo uh first iniedo is no is no is no stranger to iroko tv and movies and hollywood, hollywood movies and also bimbo manuel is not but Bimbo Malin and I go way back to uh, the days of Behind the Clouds where he played um, Nduka. is really, really the funny, evil character in the movie. And so, yes, I was looking forward to seeing him. I was looking forward to seeing him in this movie and how it went. And he did wonderfully well. I loved him. And my renewed love is just, you know, it just keeps beaming out. So the characters, yes, they're quite interesting. The new character, Joshua Joshua um, Richards, who played the lead role, did wonderfully well. He's so cute. His pronunciation to words, the way he played his role as a kid, as a child, in, well, not a child, as a young, handsome guy in a university, it was really, really nice. I liked it. I liked that about the dude. And officially, Richard, if you're listening or if you ever get to watch this review, I am in love with you as an actor. Amazing job. So, yes, the characters were really, really good. And uh, the storyline, I must quite say, is different. It's not that storyline you come across, although you, you can relate to some scenes in it. But this storyline is actually quite impressive. And I haven't seen that in Hollywood in a while. So, yes, bravo to the script. And um, let's talk about continuity, directing, uh, the sound quality, and all that. The sound quality in this movie is is good, is okay. Uh, yes, there were a few mistakes here and there when the sound quality and the pronunciation and when the actors are talking is not really really defined, but it was still great. It's still something you can look, you can overlook it for an average person who just not average, but if you're not into reviewing movies, you won't really notice it. So let's talk about the location and uh, the ah, which be the English show, which be the English I will use. Oh, ah, I go remember. Uh, but let's just talk about atmosphere. Yeah, let's talk about the movie atmosphere. So each scene and uh, well, different scenes, of course, uh, different characters, they play different roles. But the scene and atmosphere for each of these characters fit perfectly to the to the movie, uh, the university campus life. The hip hop life, the naughty child life, the loving parents life, the nanny life, 
you know it was really really nice now this movie had everything to just keep you going you know it had that bomb and it had that climax the climax is something you would never 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 you would you wouldn't even expect the climax in this movie it's really really nice and i liked it a lot in the end though as a character is not she did really well in fact i can say new Inyedo is doing very very well these days of course she's a she's a wonderful actress but there's this there's this new aura she she exudes when she's when she's when she's in this in in movies these days it's just really really good i guess our workout is really really working and you know what to say happy people people that do yoga that work out happy people don't just go around looking sad and you just keep looking fabulous like me you know what i'm saying anyways uh birthmark is really really nice the storyline is great the actors are great the costume the wardrobe everything just sync perfectly with this movie uh what really start well the person that really stood out to me in this movie is no no other person than uh joshua richard he's the new face as i said and he did amazingly well and um for someone who's into music who's into uh entertainment like me joseph also did uh joshua also did wonderfully well as a as a as a character who's in love with music and dance and all that stuff he did really really well uh another thing i like about the movie so yeah as i said it's about a young child a, a rich boy who is in love a crazily in love with his uh nanny and in edo played the nanny in this movie of course i don't i don't i don't expect anybody else to play the role in that movie and uh the chemistry between these two people you know how there's this the nanny doesn't want the, the kind of love uh joshua is uh bringing to the table but it's just this chemistry these two people have their kisses is just very it explains the climax of the movie because i love their chemistry i love like for once it wasn't i for once it wasn't i don't even want to I, I don't even want to give any spoiler alert for this movie you just have to watch this movie there's a spoiler alert guys i'm sorry but you just have to watch this movie it's available on iroko and also i love the direction in this movie was it moses iwang is this is this is this director that i really really like because the way the the, ang the angles the emotion everything it gets everything and it just make it sink like it's so relatable i just love this movie i don't even want to go into talk i just want to talk about how you guys just need to watch this movie so yes i love the i love the twist at the end of the movie i didn't expect it at all usually i always predict movie but this movie gosh i just couldn't predict the end it was really really nice and for me that i love happy ending i wanted that in this movie and i got it although it's not the kind of happy ending that i wanted but i got the i got what i wanted in this movie so will, will i will i uh recommend birthmark for anybody to watch hell yeah hell yeah you need to go watch uh birthmark it's available on iroko and uh for that the cinematography in the movie also is great as i said the focus was good the lightning was just right um of course um of course there are bodies in there but the bodies you can easily overlook if that's that comes yeah, with um the sound you know it was a little bit shaky at times but you know what you wouldn't even notice it if you're not into movie review like i am so overall i love this movie i will give this movie a 9 over 10 for good production for good amazing script it's really really different i love the wardrobe i love the location they use and um i love when i love how joshua relates to any edo when he expresses his love for her and how he gets hangry i love it, the evil part that was shown towards the end of the movie i really really love this movie and trust me guys you cannot you would not be able to predict this movie this is a different nollywood we're talking about and i love it so i hope you guys enjoy this review and please just go out there and watch this movie it's available on iroko as i said comment and let's talk about this movie what you like about it what, what you think i got i got wrong and uh you know let's just keep sharing this movie and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful weekend Adios, my people. Sashimita, it should go.